Hi, I'm Carly. My husband's name is Ethan. He's currently at work, uh, so you'll meet him later. About five years ago, we moved into an RV for his job as a traveling physical therapist. I transitioned from classroom teaching to online teaching, so I work from home in the RV. Today, I'm gonna just be bringing you along my day, kind of see what daily life in an RV looks like. So come along, and in a little bit, I'll show you around the RV. You said you're out on the water, my baby, my sweet. You're floating up top, I'm sinking underneath. Can you see my hands waving in the air? Can you hear me calling out your name? I'm calling out your name. Now that work and chores are done, let's give you a tour of the place. So this is our 21 foot Lance travel trailer. We have been living in this for about a year and a half now. So we have a dog and two cats living in the RV with us. We've had them since before we decided to travel, so there was really no other option other than to bring them with us. Here is our tiny bathroom with the essentials. Around the corner here is our living space. We actually removed the original dinette booth and transformed it into a cabinet, which now holds the cat litter box underneath there and then a desk area for me to work at. We kept the couch cushions, which is primarily Loki's bed. Above our bed here is where we keep most of our clothes, some underneath as well. And we have a TV over here. And lastly is the kitchen. We actually removed the microwave that used to be in this cabinet, just to add more storage space. Oven, stove to cook at, and then more storage space over here. And that is pretty much it. All right, let me give you a little more insight to our story. Before Ethan and I moved into the travel trailer, we actually began RV life in a 40-foot Class A motorhome. After two years of traveling in the big bus, we started to get tired of its limitations. Things like being too long for many campgrounds, or not being able to use just any gas station, or like navigating with extra caution because if we pulled down the wrong road, we couldn't reverse when flat towing our truck. We realized we could give up some of the square footage if it meant for easier travel. So that's what we did. By year three, we sold the motorhome and bought our Lance. So the pets were probably our biggest concern with this move. But as you can see, Loki didn't seem to hesitate. He jumped right in. Let me tell you, this transition was not easy. We were a complete mess for at least a week. We found a place for most things and immediately began working on cleaning out the dinette area so Loki could have some more space for himself. We built my desk, created a space to tuck the cat's litter box away, and spruced up the place with some updates.
I'm excited to start showing you around more often, but until then, Ethan's gonna be coming home from work soon. We're gonna pack up and actually take you on a camping trip. Cut us some salmon this morning. Thanks, Mike. Each year during the fall season, if you look closely, you can spot the 40 feet long gray whales as they migrate 6,000 miles from Alaska down to Baja, California, Mexico. We are camping at Westport Landing Station in Westport, California. How have there been no whale spouts? We're a little disappointed. Possibly the whales are too far out. Um, that we aren't able to see them well. After giving birth in the warm waters, the mammals then return back up to their feeding grounds in Alaska. It's rare to see a whale breach, but often you can see them spouting, which is when they release the oxygen from their blowholes, forming what looks like a water spout, but in fact is just air, not water. <laughs> Come to find out, the land curves just enough inland to make it difficult to see the whales. So we birdwatched instead. The rest of the evening, we sat cliffside, sipped on some wine, and then went to bed. Beautiful people open their mouths and smell like we're lunch. Ethan is using his bite bamboo toothbrush. Show us the bamboo, I mean the bite toothpaste bites. What well, aren't drugs? Small changes like switching to brands that decrease waste and care for our planet is a focus of ours. Each episode will share more about our eco-friendly ways and how you can begin making a difference too for our planet and future generations. All right, we're all packed up, so we're leaving Westport Union Landing State Park. Definitely suggest coming if you're ever in the area. It's only about 25 minutes north of Fort Bragg, so not too far from town. Uh, Westport is another really small town that's closest to like five minutes, but there's not much there. If you'd like to see more from us, subscribe, give us a thumbs up, and leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. Check out our blog at uprootedcrabtrees.com and check us out on social media. Thanks. See you next time. <laughs>